Hello Purple Banditos, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri, in today's episode, we're gonna head up this fourth and final elevator and face off against the final Elite Four member. Are you guys ready? I know I'm ready. After finishing kicking that fiery dude's butt that looked like Ronald McDonald, today we're gonna finally face off against the fourth, final, and hardest Elite Four member. So let's go ahead and walk up and talk to him. Ah, oh, you timed your arrival well. I just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of the psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. So here we go! Rodri versus Lucian! The fourth and final Elite Four member, psychic type user. So here we go, you are challenged by Elite Four Lucian. He's gonna send out Mr. Mime, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out Jerry as you guys recommended to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go for a Dark Pulse. Let's see how much damage we can do. Let's see how many of his Pokemon we can actually KO, and see if we can get this show on the road. So it seems like Dark Pulse is actually doing quite a bit of damage, and it did a great job. Let's see what Mr. Mime's gonna do. It's setting up the light screen. I didn't want him to set up the light screen. I'm just going to go ahead and go for another Dark Pulse. I'm just going to go spamming the Dark Pulses and hope for the best. I'm pretty sure light screen is going to cut down the special attack. So it's going to be a little bit tougher to KO him. I just hope that we're able to do a good job and see if I can weaken him enough to once we get this going. Uh, all I can do is, you know what, I'm going to go for a crunch. Let's see how much damage a crunch is going to do as crunch is physical and hopefully it'll do a good amount. There we go, this crunch is super effective and Mr. Mime has been KO'd. I like how there's a Mr. Mime and it shows like the male symbol. Is there ever a female Mr. Mime? So here we go, it's going to send out Gallade. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to whoop out Volar. Yeah, I'm going to whoop out Vola. Vola, go do that stuff because I remember Gallade. I'm pretty sure it's a fighting type Pokemon, so uh, Volar is going to be able to do some amazing damage if we just go for a fly. So there we go. Gallade is out. We're going to lower its attack. It's level 59. Holy crap. I was not prepared for a Pokemon to be that high of a level. So we're going to go for the Brave Bird. Hopefully we can do a good amount of damage, if not KO it. If we can KO it in one go, that would be fantastic. If not for the next one, I'm going to go for a fly. KO'd! Get out of here, Gallade. Woo! Lucian, what are you doing, man? Lucian, you're, you're losing to me, the rookie, dude. Well, we're not a rookie anymore. We've gone through eight gyms together, guys. It's been a long road, and it's really been quite awesome. It's going to come back with an Alakazam. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Jerry and get that Dark Pulse rolling. Get that show on the road and see how much damage we can do onto this guy and see how easily it's going to be for us to just whoop his butt together. So here we go. He's going to send out the Alakazam. I'm pretty sure the light screen's still up. So it's going for a Focus Blast. Oh man, that could actually hurt me quite a bit. We'll see We'll see how much damage it does to me. I'm not sure how much it's going to do exactly, but jeez, that... Wow, don't KO me, please! <gasps> KO'd! It's super effective! Oh my goodness, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting that at all. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and send out Speedy. And I'm going to start using some Crunch on Alakazam. Hopefully my Speedy will be able to tank through that. Uh, we're about to find out right here. It's going to go for a Psychic. I think the Psychic might actually be quite effective. And might actually make this uh, a very, very balanced fight. Uh, it did quite a bit of damage. I'm hoping that the Crunch will be able to KO this Alakazam, which would make it a lot better and then you know I can I can rebound back from that so it's super effective uh, I'm gonna go for the hyper potion then because if not I would be getting KO'd uh, as I know I would and it's probably gonna go for a full restore to bring its Alakazam back into this is what my guess is just because it's an elite four member it's bound to use full restores on us so it's is it gonna use it the foes Alakazam used another psychic Whoa, man it's got me really weakened down right now I don't know what to do I'm, I'm a little a little nervous I think I'm gonna revive Jerry and then, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and revive Jerry just in case. And, you know, if it really comes down to it, I'll go ahead and switch back into him. So let's go ahead and just revive Jerry. And then from here, if, I can probably switch into Linz or, you know, someone else and just start putting some serious damage on it because these psychics are actually hurting me quite a bit. All right, so there we go. It KO'd me. Wow, Lucian. I didn't think you were going to be this tough, but dude, if you were taking down my guy that easy, man... Uh, I can't believe you took out my Jerry. I was actually hoping that Jerry would be my my piece of the puzzle and, you know, the, the Pokemon that was going to get it through for me. I'm going to go ahead and go for this Crunch. It's going to go for a Psychic. I'm hoping that Sparky will be able to tank this. I'm not sure if it will be able to, though. I just kind of sent it as hopes. Yes, and a Crunch will KO this Alakazam. Woo, fantastic. That's just like a little ease right there that Sparky was able to hold up through that and KO it. We're probably going to revive or fully restore Jerry and bring him back into this. It's going to go with a Bronzong. I'm going to keep out Sparky 
until I can hyper potion my Jerry so then I can bring Jerry back out and hit the bronze on with like a fire blast or something so let me go ahead and just use that Lucian is a tough fight there, no joking around with a fourth elite four member I thought I was gonna come in here and honestly just like roll him through because I felt like Jerry was gonna be confident but you know what it was actually a lot tougher than uh, I expected so it's going to go for the earthquake that should be pretty effective on Sparky and it KO'd him. Okay, you know what, Sparky? Thank you so much because you were able to take down that crazy Alakazam. Now here we go, showtime. Jerry is back out. The light screen is down, and we'll be able to start getting some fire moves going. I'm hoping that I can land this fire blast, and it looks I'm gonna like I'm gonna land it. It should KO this Bronzong. Bronzong, and it's only level 54, so you know, we're level 55. I would expect us to be able to KO it because it's super effective. Down for the count. So there we go. Bronzong's KO'd. Woohoo! Good for us. That was a good one, guys. We're freaking, we're coming back on this, guys. We got this. We just got our second chance. We're coming back at it. Jerry grew to level 56, which is cool. Lucian's gonna send out Espeon. So we're gonna keep out Jerry. It's gonna be Jerry against Espeon. One of the forms of the Eevees that we could have actually evolved our Nami into. Hmm. Now what should I do? All right, Lucian is a little nervous, asking what he should do. I mean, dude, you're the psychic one. Why are you asking me? It's going to go for the signal beam. I think, actually, signal beam is going to do quite a lot of damage on me. It didn't. It barely did any. Wow, awesome. So, Jerry used the Dark Pulse. I'm hoping that we'll be able to KO this Espeon here. All fingers grow! Jeez, that was close. That was very close. I'm going to go for another Dark Pulse. And, of course, Lucian goes for the full restore. You can't expect him to take it easy on us. He is an Elite Four member. You know, that's just going to happen. So, I went ahead and used the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse! And hopefully we can KO this thing once and for all. That would be fantastic! Oh, jeez. Jeez, Lucian should be out of full restores, though. It's going to go for a Signal Beam. Of course. Let's see how much damage it'll do on us. Hopefully not that much. Uh, okay, cool. And we should be able to KO his final member right here. And that's going to be it. Espeon is KO'd. And that is that last Pokemon to the Elite Four. Fantastic. We gained 2,319 XP points. We defeated Elite Four Lucian. I see. You getting past the three before was no fluke. We got 7,080 for winning. Congratulations. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. We have to step through this doorway to the final battle, guys. I don't know. Are we ready for this? Are we ready to continue on and finally face off and meet the champion of the Sinnoh League? Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to continue up the elevator and face off against the champion. Four Elite Four members down, the champion to go. Get ready, guys. The final battle is on. See you in the next episode.